Hi everyone, it's Sherry. I hope that you're having a wonderful day. Y'all, I believe everyone can be a crafter. Stay tuned. Welcome to my channel. I am so glad that you decided to stop by and welcome to all of my new subscribers and thank you so much to everyone who is supporting me in such a positive way. You guys know my channel is all about being positive and being kind. So thank you to everyone who supports that initiative. As I said in the opener, I believe that everyone can be a crafter. I have an older sister who believes the opposite. She believes that she doesn't have a crafty bone in her body and I think she's wrong. And you guys probably know some people like that as well. So today's project is going to be for those people. We are going to give them the gift of feeling like a crafter. And what do I mean by that? So what I have here is a seven by five by two inch box. And on the inside are all the elements necessary to help anyone feel like a crafter. So I'll give you a closer look in just a minute, but y'all know what time it is. It's time to make it. So here is today's boxed project. It is so stinking cute. We're going to make the box together. So on the inside, what I have is a packet of pre-cut non-decorated pieces. So I'm going to take those out. I have my card mats. I have the cards. And then I have the envelopes. The envelopes have been pre-cut but they have not been glued together. So that'll give the person that's making this project the opportunity to feel like they are truly putting together a card to be mailed or to be given because they actually are. And in this packet, what I have included, I have included all types of little decorative elements. So I put in more than would probably be used I added stickers, flowers, some crinkle seam binding, and I even added some tape so that the person who's making this can seal the envelope. And if we wanted to go all the way with it and give them everything that they're going to need to make four fully mailable cards, I would also add a little pair of scissors, and I got these from the Dollar Tree, they're detailing scissors, but they'll work fine for a project like this and then a mini bottle of glue. This is, I think, half an ounce, and it's perfect to go in something like this. So I'm going to go ahead and put my little kit back together, and then I'll show you what we need to make it. And so here's what we're going to need to make it. To make the box, please make sure that you're using a medium weight to a heavy weight cardstock. But to make the cards, I'm actually using a heavyweight cardstock. So we're going to have some scrap left over, and I'm going to use that scrap to make my mats. So you'll need four mats that are cut at four by five and a quarter. You will need four card bases that are cut at eight and a half by five and a half. We have a piece of seven by nine decorative cardstock. This is a medium to heavyweight. Then I have two pieces of decorative cardstock that are cut at eight by ten. Again, a medium to heavyweight. And then for my envelopes, I'm using a medium weight cardstock, and this is cut at seven and three quarters by 12. So first, let's make our beautiful box, and we're going to need the two pieces that measure eight by 12, and the one piece that measures seven by nine. We're going to take the two pieces that measure eight by 12, and we are going to score them on one end at two, and seven. Now because we do have a directional print, I am going to take the second half of that and I don't want the print all running in the same direction. I need to take this piece and turn it in the opposite direction. So both sides of my box will actually have the words and the graphics going in the right direction. So with everything going in the opposite direction, I'm going to now reverse it and score at one, and then I'll just rotate it and score at two. So now when I put it together, 
everything is going to be going in the right direction. So I need to score it at two on the 11 inch side. And I believe that I might've said 12 when I gave you the measurements for this, but it's actually eight by 11. And I'll score two here. I'll score two on this 11 inch side and two on this 11 inch side. And so now we're going to fold and burnish our scores. And so now I'm going to take my finger blade and I am going to remove the corner pieces from one section completely. So these two corner pieces that are on that two inch score mark, I'm removing them completely. And then I'll bring in the other one. And this time I'm going to cut on the score mark this way. And then I'll angle in like that. And we'll do the same thing over here. So we're going to have our piece like that. And then we'll move to the one inch part at the top. And we are just going to angle those tabs like that. And then on this piece, we're going to remove the tab all together. So now I'm going to take my glue, place my glue down and fold that in. And I added the one inch to the top because I really wanted a nice fold over. And so I'll add my glue to this piece and we'll fold that piece in. So now we're going to take this piece and we're going to join it to this piece. Now I'm going to use glue on mine, but this is a project where you can use tape if you want. I'm using glue because it gives me some wiggle room when I place this down. So I'm just going to take this piece, slide it in, and once we have it, we can go over it with the bone folder, make sure that glue is nice and even underneath. And now we have our box and you can see that the front and the back are both going in the correct direction. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reduce this just a little bit. And now we can put our box together. So I'm going to take my glue, place a little bit of glue on this piece, and then I'm going to place my glue on this piece but I'm going to fold that back for right now because I don't want it in the way. So I'll place my glue. And then I'll take this piece and when I put it down, I'm making sure that I have the tops nice and matched. So they're nice and even and I can fold that piece over and it fits. So I am just going to go on the inside with my little baby spatula here and get everything nice and stuck. And then I'll go along the outside. We're going to do the same thing on this side. So I'm going to add my glue to this piece. Then I'm going to take that flap fold it back and out of the way and add my glue. Then I'll fold that piece in and I'll take this piece and we're going to make sure that we have it matched at the top. If there's any overhang on the bottom, we can fix that. So then I'm going to go inside and make sure I have a nice stick. And then I'll go along the side, 
getting it nice and stuck and then I'll look at the bottom to see if I have any overhang and I do so I'll just take my scissors and trim off that overhang so now I have a nice even base on this so now I can take my glue put some on that tab fold it in put some on this tab fold it in and now we have our box and I love how the front of this looks y'all know how I feel about the bird so this little bird on here it's really cute we are going to make the lid for this I am going to take my piece that measures seven by nine and I am going to score on the nine inch side at one rotate it to the opposite nine inch side score at one and then I'm going to turn it and I'm going to score at two four and six and three eighths so we'll take this piece and we're going to fold it backwards and then we'll fold everything else on the score mark and where we made that narrow score we're going to remove those corner pieces all together And then we're going to take our glue and we're going to place our glue on that piece. We will fold over, get that nice and stuck. And now we'll turn it to the side and everywhere that we have a score, we're just going to angle. And so now your piece will look like this. Let's take our glue, place glue on all of these tabs, and fold them in. That's just giving you a nice folded over edge. Do the same thing on the opposite side. So we're going to take our glue, place that glue down, Fold this over and get that stuck. And so this is our lid. I'm going to make sure that it fits and when it does, I am going to take some glue and on that back flap, and I know it's the back flap because the front flap has this folded over piece, I am going to place glue about half an inch up from the bottom. And now I can take this and we'll just put it on by getting the front on and then we'll fold it over and finagle it if we need to. So now I'm going to open this and I'll go in and get that glue stuck. And one of the reasons why I don't place glue closer to the top is because I want the flexibility of my lid being able to stretch. If I placed my glue all the way up to the score mark, you run the risk of having it too tight and then your paper might tear. So that's why I do it that way, but you can experiment with different ways to see which one works best for you. So now I'm going to bring in two sets of Velcro pairs and I am going to fold these because I'm going to put two on here. So I'm just going to fold it. Let me see how far down this is going to come. So I'll take my Velcro dot and basically I'm placing it 
right above where I fold it over but on the underside so I'm going to take that second one and we'll do the same thing over here so I have two velcro dots that I place down and I'm placing two because this is wide and I want to make sure that it's going to lay flat if you don't want to place two again it really is crafters choice when you're making your projects it's completely up to you how you want to do it and then I'll very carefully open it and I'm going to take my little spatula here to make sure that's stuck and I'll do the same thing here making sure that it's stuck so there is our sweet little box we now need to make everything that's going to go on the inside so I have already cut out two of the card base and I'll cut out and fold two here so we're going to take our eight and a half by eleven inch cardstock and we're going to cut it down on the eleven inch side we cut it down to five and a half that will give us two pieces that measure eight and a half by five and a half so then I'm going to take those two pieces and on the eight and a half inch side I am going to score at four and a quarter and then I'll fold and I'll fold both of these I can go back and just give it a quick burnishing and those are my card bases you're going to need four of those Then I'll bring in some of that scrap it's already four inches wide so on the 12 inch side I'm going to cut it five and a quarter that's going to give me mats that measure four by five and a quarter I've already made two so here are the other two and then we are going to do our envelope so the piece that measures seven and three quarters by twelve we're going to score at one I'll rotate it to the opposite side and score at one then I'm going to score at four and a quarter and at eight and five eighths so now I can take this and we're just going to fold and burnish all of those scores now we will not be gluing this together that will be for the person that we give this to or the person that we might even sell it to because these would make great craft fair sellers or sellers for your Etsy store so I'm going to take my finger blade angle angle here same thing over here let's angle angle here angle here 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 and here and so now we can take this and fold it like that and we have our fourth envelope now we're going to put our pretty kit together so to store all of my paper pieces I am going to take my envelopes and just get them nice and stacked I'll take my card bases stack them on top of the envelopes and then I'll take those mats and we're going to stack those on top of the card bases and now I can take these and I have a self-sealing cellophane baggie that measures five by eight and I am just going to put these inside and then most of you probably remember this little folder that I made using some of the Dollar Tree chopping mat and I have some ephemera pieces in here that I'm going to pull out and we're going to place some of those in with our pack because I think that they can be useful So I'm going to use my scissors and I am going to trim this piece and use that piece and then I'll trim this piece oops 
and I'm going to put that piece in there and I'm going to put this piece in. I think I'm going to trim this down just a little bit. We're going to put that in there. And then I have that little bird and I'm going to put the bird in there as well. And I'm just adding in extra pieces and that gives the person who would get this options. So then I'll take some of the decorative ephemera pieces and just add a few of those. I'm not going to put a whole lot, but just a few. I'll put in a couple of word ones, a couple of those, butterfly, and a couple of those hearts. So it really is up to you how much you want to put in yours. I am just being very generous with how much I'm putting in this one so that the person who gets it can play around a little bit with a look that they might like. So then I'm going to take a few of my little Anna Griffin, sorry for that crinkling, but I am going to take a few of these Anna Griffin pieces and they're just sentiment pieces. And so here are the pieces that I'm going to be putting in. I have some flowers. I have some of the cut aparts that I'm going to put in. So I'm going to go ahead and take those cut aparts and put those in right there because they'll be the easiest for me to get in. Then I'll take the flowers and we're going to put them in the back side because I think no matter how you're looking at this baggie, the front and the back will be equally as pretty. And now I can take my little sentiments and these little decorative pieces of ephemera and just drop them inside. Go ahead and put these little hearts in there too. And then I'll add just a little bit of lemon colored satin ribbon. And then I'll take a scrap strip of my tape backer and I'm going to use that to place down on some actual tape. So I'm covering this to create a cover for the tape that I'm going to put in because I really don't want that tape sticking to some of the things that I might have in there. So I'm just giving enough tape so that strips can be cut to seal an envelope. So I'm going to take this and just fold it like that and I'm tucking it inside just like that. So now I can peel away that backer strip and seal that packet of decorative elements. We can do the same over here. I am going to pull away that adhesive strip and seal the actual paper pack itself. I want to put just a little sticker on that paper pack, just something pretty, just to add a little cuteness to it. So I'm going to take that butterfly and place it right there in the middle. I'm not going to place anything here because we have a lot going on. So the last thing I want to do to my box is to add a decorative element to it. And I think I am going to go in and take this one that says make more lemonade. So I am just going to add some glue to this. And I'll take this and we're going to place it right there, just like that. And then I think I'm going to take just a little bit of my foam tape and add it to the back of my butterfly. And I'm going to put that right there. And then on the first one, I added a pocket. So I have a piece of scrap that measures four and a quarter by three. And I am just going to create a very quick little pocket. So I used my punch 
to punch out an opening. If you don't have a punch, you can just notch that out with your scissors. So I am going to add some glue. And that way, if you want to add stamps, or you even want to put a gift card on the inside, you can. So I'm going to open this, and I'm going to take this and place it down from the top about half an inch is how far down I went. So I'm going to use my spatula, get that nice and stuck. And now you're able to see that we have a nice little pocket right in there. We are going to take our goodies and put them on the inside. And like I said, if you wanted to put in a pair of scissors and share some of your glue, you can do that as well. And so there we have it. We have created a craft kit in a box to help anyone feel like a crafter because we've given them everything they need to make four beautiful cards with extras to spare. So not only will they be able to make the cards, but they'll have the thrill of making the envelopes as well. So I have brought that first one back in so that y'all can see just how gorgeous these are and how simple they were to make. All we need is to go into our stash and pull out a little bit of what we have. And we can create ready to craft kits like this to gift or to sell. So there's that one. And here is that very first one that I made. They are just so stinking cute. And I know that you guys are going to have a ball making these. But what I know even more is that person who doesn't think that they have a crafty bone in their body will love receiving this because by the time they make card number one, they will feel such a sense of accomplishment and they will get to experience that thrill that we all feel whenever we make a project. So guys, I hope that you have enjoyed today's really awesome video. If you have, please hit the like button. If you are not a subscriber to my channel, I would love to have you join this amazing online crafting family. You guys, as always, please be safe, be kind, be the reason someone smiles today, Happy crafting, and we'll chat later. Bye.